Okay, and now we are recording. Hello, uh, welcome to the Advocacy and Outreach Special Interest Group uh, meeting. Uh, today is May 7th, and we will just uh, go through the topics we have on the agenda. Um, so we have Google Summer updates from me, and then discussion for Jenkins UX hackathon, um, um, discussion about APFA videos by Lisa, and also uh, some topics about the roadmaps, online meetups, and et cetera, et cetera. So let's just start. Uh, yeah, we had uh, discussions about the Google Summer of Code uh, at several meetings uh, this week already. I'll just uh, spend uh, uh, some time for those uh, who didn't participate in uh, previous meetings. So uh, on May 4th, uh, we have got announcements uh, by Google about uh, the select projects. And we're proud to announce that we have seven projects in the Jenkins organization this year. Six projects will be focusing on Jenkins. One project will be focusing on Jenkins X. But still, it's a good number. It's exactly the number of uh, projects we asked for. Um, all these applications uh, have been suggested uh, by students who have already contributed uh, to the Jenkins project uh, during uh, and to Jenkins X during the um, selection time frame. And uh, we are looking forward to work with them. Um, so we have already posted some announcements in social media. I plan to make an official blog post early next week. So once we get all profiles updated, uh, because yeah, right now, if you go to our page, you can see that uh, there are mentors listed. Some mentors uh, have uh, profiles, etc. there. But for students, we still need to, to make some updates uh, to um, uh, have everything in place. And once it's ready, we will just kick off the announcements. And Oleg, um, yes. so from the CDF's uh, side, we are also writing a press release to include um, all, uh, all the uh, Google Summer projects. Um, so uh, Tara is driving that. Um, mm -hmm. Not sure exactly what the messaging is going to be around it, but Jesse's going to ghostwrite it. So I'll also make sure that you're looped in so that you can provide feedback. Yeah, uh, we have already received a request from Tara about uh, the list of projects. Yeah, uh, I provided this list, but yeah, if additional reviews are needed, I'm uh, happy to help. No, I just want you to just mm -hmm. give it like a final look, just so, because mm -hmm. like I said, he's going to be ghostwriting it, so I just want to make sure it aligns. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Okay, I'm happy to help with that. So for us, uh, as usual in previous years, we will have a lot of uh, social media announcements. Hopefully starting from the second part of May, we'll start getting uh, blog posts from students and mentors. And likely we will have uh, a lot more content flowing in because some projects already have proof of concepts which we could demonstrate. And we will keep facilitating that. So in total, we have around 30 contributors uh, in this project. So it's a good number. Uh, okay, so I think that's all uh, from the JSOC standpoint because yeah, we basically use the same framework as before. So we will have online meetups. Once uh, you have evaluations, we will also request additional blog posts and uh, we will be trying to facilitate discussions through special interest groups so that we can uh, onboard more stakeholders to these projects. Okay, any questions before we move on? Okay. Then, yeah, that's it. And yeah, once we talk about uh, Google something, there is a Google season uh, of documentation. So for Google season of documentation, we have applied um, and the results will be announced um, uh, next Monday. So here's our landing page. You can also find our application uh, somewhere in these documents. Just a second, it should be here. Yeah, our application. So if you're interested, you can find all the information here. Um, and we are just waiting for the feedback. If we are lucky, we will also get additional uh, slot for a technical writer who would be working with the Jenkins project on one of the suggested project ideas. And yeah, another update is about your UX hackathon. 
So we had uh, this discussion um, before in Brussels um, about doing more than hackathons. We had a hackathon for Java 10 plus support, which was a great success. We also had October 1st, where we pushed a uh, number of contributions to the uh, record high numbers, which we are hopefully going to beat this, qu beat this quarter, by the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, online hackathons proved to be pretty efficient. And we would like to use these hackathons uh, in order to drive our roadmap. So uh, we have uh, a roadmap which includes uh, many stories. But historically, when we were doing surveys with Jenkins users, one of the top feedbacks is that Jenkins user interface is dated, it's hard to use that, it's hard to find proper documentation, etc. All of that boils down to user experience. And what we want to do with this hackathon is to specifically focus on uh, user experience, and in particular on uh, three areas. So it's uh, user interface, uh, on the roadmap, we have stories for Jenkins look and feel updates. We also have the discussion about accessibility in the previous UX uh, meeting, and there are other stories. So this is from the technical side, from documentation, uh, we want to improve solution pages, tutorials, and user documentation. Uh, and uh, we also want to work on the marketing because for us, uh, sharing stories is also a good opportunity to share, uh, feed, uh, to get feedback about user experience and to share it with other users. So Alisa has uh, recently started the Jenkins Lead the Way program which is currently online, which we are promoting. Uh, there are stories here. Right now, uh, there are eight stories already or something like that. And um, yeah, we want to actually push it a bit more. Um, at the hackathon, we will offer uh, contributors uh, to write user stories and also to just post their stories in whatever social media is Jenkins uh, the way hashtag similar to what we use currently with promo for promoting the content. And hopefully it will uh, help us uh, to um, uh, promote what we are doing um, uh, more among users. So that's the idea for this hackathon. And actually I wanted to spend some time uh, to discuss uh, the framework to get feedback from SIG members. But uh, yeah, we don't have so many people on the call. So do you think it makes sense to discuss it now? I do. At least I think it would benefit because Alyssa and I will probably be actively trying to promote it, help people know it. So if we talk mm -hmm. about the framework now, it gives us some, uh, some notes we can take and some ideas to capture. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'll briefly describe the framework. Um, we actually had hackathons before, like uh, Java 10 plus support hackathon. It was a five-day event, and it was not a hackathon per se. It was a hack fest. So it's not something like uh, for five days, people were just working 24 hours per day, or, or depending on how much sleep you need, uh, uh, to hack something, then uh, to demo it and get uh, prizes. Our approach was quite different. We invite everybody, regardless of how much time they have, um, and in order to make it possible, we prepare newbie friendly tickets, we prepare some onboarding events, uh, contributor materials, and at the same time, we have um, advanced topics as well. So basically, it's hop in, hop off event uh, when uh, everybody is welcome to participate. Uh, usually, we have people who just do a couple of contributions, we have people who uh, spend almost full time uh, driving particular stories. And because some people we got approvals from companies and we are preparing for that. So right now we have um, some uh, new befriendly stories. We still need to create Jira queries, etc. but uh, these stories are more or less confirmed. Um, so for example, thanks uh, to Mark and documentation seek for working on the user documentation. Same for user interface. Uh, yesterday we had a meeting to discuss uh, new befriendly tickets we would like to create and also newbie friendly tickets. So we will be uh, uh, pulling it uh, together. Yes, uh, Jacqueline, so there is a question whether we will, could have submitted to uh, the event calendar. We will uh, do that. So what? Uh, yep. uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I plan to do that, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, because I'd love to also make sure that the CDF promotes it on their channels, because this mm -hmm. is like something that the CDF like hasn't 
been a part of. Um, it'd be like the first hackathon for our project. So I think it'd be, um, we definitely want to help you guys wherever we can. Um, and I also want to make sure that you guys, like we've got socks. So if, I, I don't know if you creating like custom swag for this, but we can also help with, with some of the, we have a ton of, of socks for Jenkins. So. Oh, that'd be um, yep. great. Yeah. We can provide socks and we can provide decals because I ordered about 3000 of the Jenkins decals. So we are stocked up to provide it for you guys. Just let okay. me know. And yeah. yeah. Or, or, we, or I could have, um, for example, the codes created and then we just give it to every oh. attendee and then mm -hmm. they go and order it themselves, so. Okay, um, yeah, so what uh, we had uh, with regards to Swag, Swag before, so we have Cloud Beast sponsoring the event, and we will, uh, we will be using the same Jenkins as the way theming, mm -hmm. so it uh, allows us to use uh, the same t-shirts which have been created, and uh, yeah, these t-shirts are really cool, I'm looking forward to receive one. Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, stickers, we also discussed some special prizes, which is currently TBD. Mm, but, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have some. Uh, so, uh, and if we can get, get some from uh, CDF as well, it would be awesome. We could, um, we could, for example, if you, one of the things um, that we could give you is some of the CDF hoodies. I believe we still have some. And then we are, we did create Jenkins, but it's the original, like the butler. Um, so we could give, give you guys t-shirts too. I just need to see, um, I put in the order back in March, but because of Corona, um, I, they haven't put it on our store yet. So I'm assuming that it just, they haven't received it depending on where it's coming from. So let me check in on that. Mm -hmm. yeah, actually, it's a good topic to discuss today if you have some time, because we have other events like a cool summer of code, where we would also like to distribute uh, Schwag. Um, and, uh, yeah. yeah, just um, give me numbers, send me an email, give me numbers, how much you need. Um, like I said, I ordered a I ordered 3000 stickers, so I'm stocked up for, for that kind of swag. Um, and I also have, uh, we also still have plenty of socks. I think we had around 200 socks. Um, and then t-shirts, I think about 200. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. Jackie, how would it work if I was to give you, because we have Jenkins is the way t-shirts that I'm producing at the moment. Okay. So what if I send them to you or to whoever the vendor is? And then, and then I think it's easier if we just give. They send everything out at once. Okay. What, what, how, like, how, would that cost us anything like in terms of for cloud bees or the Jenkins project? I don't think so. So let me ask, I do have a, a phone call with um, Pinnacle. So what mm -hmm. I was thinking we could do is just have, once you're done with all like, once you get a confirmation, hey, your, your t-shirts are done, why don't we just ship them to the w Pinnacle's warehouse where they ship everything out? Yeah. So depending on how you guys want to do it, you know, we could do something like they get a Jenkins is the way t-shirt, they get a Jenkins socks and they get a decal mm -hmm. and have them ship everything out together. Yeah, so, that would be great. Yeah, so I think, um, mm -hmm. send me an email, Alyssa, and okay. then... Um, and then I'll ask them and, and okay. then we can, I, I can ask them for their address. Yeah. So that you, then I can give you the address. Um, okay. And then we can have all that stuff. Okay. Yeah, it would be much appreciated. Yeah. Uh, Cause then it'd be easier to just put everything in a, like in a package. Yeah. Type of thing. Yeah. 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 And also it would be really helpful to use logistics system because mm -hmm. before that we were basically sending Schwak on our own. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, well, it requires so much time from contributors, and definitely yeah. if uh, there is a vendor uh, whom we could yeah. use. Yeah. So I'll ask. Let me. I'll just send an email right now, and I'll copy yeah. you, Alyssa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. That'd be great. I'm. Mm -hmm. They. They are pretty. They are pretty good partners. So I'm hoping they'll mm -hmm. say yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah, that's really great. So I will also follow up regarding JSOC. Then, mm -hmm. 
that's great. So let's go back uh, to the event. Um, so yeah, Schwak is something we will be coordinating. We will be sending them after the event. So there is no time pressure to get it ready right now. Mm -hmm. um, we will also coordinate all the promotions. So my target is to officially announce it uh, on Monday or Tuesday next week. Oh. Uh, Oleg, in terms of back to the swag, is there a threshold that you're envisioning setting? I like Hacktoberfest technique of must have had five accepted something or others. Are um, you envisioning something similar for this swag? Yes. So okay. what we discussed with uh, Alisa. So we have some bold uh, part estimation for the budget. Uh, what I plan uh, to say in the announcement is that uh, top 50 contributors will uh, get uh, t-shirts, etc. And yeah, for the rest, it really depends on uh, what they actually will be able to facilitate. And for example, with help from Continuous Delivery Foundation, uh, definitely we could uh, do more on this front. So, great. So that, mm -hmm. I love the top 50 because that assures we won't overrun Alyssa's budget. Great. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, if we get to 50 contributors, it would be already a good achievement. Uh, but let's see. Um, So during Hacktoberfest, uh, we had uh, 127 unique contributors or so, uh, those who registered in the program. Let's see whether we could do something like that. Uh, okay, uh, so yeah, going back uh, to stories, um, except advertisement, uh, yeah, we'll try to put everything on our side. Uh, we also need to facilitate uh, more project ideas. So yesterday we had a discussion at uh, UX uh, meeting and we have some stories added which are marked as advanced topics. So for example, it's uh, system uh, read and uh, read only uh, UI, which is important for configuration as code stories we are working on. Then uh, yeah, solution pages are considered to be rather um, advanced topic. Or maybe it's not. Uh, also, another advanced topic we put at is installation guides, taking our today's discussion on platform seat. Mm, I'm not sure, but yeah. Agreed, yes. Um, yeah, and what else we have? So yesterday we had an idea about uh, credentials uh, plugin UI, um, also creating new UI samples for developers. I'm not 100% sure about that because uh, we rather want to focus on user experience. So yeah, obviously it also contributes to that by providing developer tools, um, but yeah, maybe we should focus on user features. Uh, Git plugin, especially multiple Git actions when you use multiple Git steps in pipeline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely an advanced topic, but yeah. Advanced, uh, dark, and very good topic to have, yeah. Okay, yeah, but for that I am definitely willing to print t-shirts on my own. <laughs> uh, also some side panels, etc. So we will be uh, refactoring the stories. Hopefully tomorrow I will submit a pull request with initial um, listing for the website, with queries, etc. And we will keep updating that. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Um, what we also need to do, um, we plan to have at least uh, one online meetup uh, in the beginning. Just a second. Uh, so on May 25th, uh, I tentatively plan a grand opening meetup, uh, maybe with a morning and evening session. And for that, it would be nice to have some overviews uh, for all these three areas. So, um, Oleg, uh, so morning and evening session. So, does that mean that? You'll, the, it's the same session that will run both in the morning and in the evening? Uh, so usually, or not usually what we did previously, we were doing grant opening on the evening. Mm. Uh, so basically when we have overlap between uh, United States and EMEA time zone, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. uh, uh, and also still a, a park because yeah, it's a bit late, but it's possible. Mm. Um, but for those who want to start earlier, uh, we will doing a session earlier, something like uh, 9 a.m. UTC, where we were doing uh, basically the same, uh, but uh, maybe just less contributors. And uh, so uh, it's what we did before. Okay. And this time we can adjust. Okay. Uh, but uh, for evening session, which we definitely need to have, I, they, it would be great to have uh, presentations for bo- for all three tracks. Mm-hmm. So I'm currently working to get somebody for UI, uh, also for documentation, uh, and yeah, for yeah, for whatever uh, promotion. So Jenkins uh, is uh, the way on social media. Uh, and it would be great to have multiple uh, presenters there. So, mm-hmm. for example, if your mark is available for documentation, it would be great. And the and same for you, Alisa, if you're available to uh, speak about Jenkins, the way and how to submit these stories, how to share them, uh, it would mm. be much appreciated. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So welcome words like by me. Well, and Oleg, I think you mentioned that you will write a blog post on about this um, mm-hmm. hack fest, right? Yep. So we will have uh, at least two blog posts. One uh, early announcement okay. uh, on Monday and Tuesday, where we will basically have some top-level overview uh, okay. and the registration for it. Um, because we will need registration for shipping details, etc. Uh, yeah. Well, or if we use uh, uh, the, um, uh, CDFs resources, just contact information so that we can uh, send out codes. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so it's uh, something we will need to figure out. Uh, but uh, it will be initial announcement. And the final announcement will be just uh, on the day of the hackathon beginning or maybe on Friday before, so that mm-hmm. uh, we list more stories, we list more examples there, and, and uh, yeah, it will be a longer blog post with all mm-hmm. this information. Um, yeah, it will uh, happen uh, just on the days of the hackathon. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. And then, so, um, so Jackie, uh, it's okay that we cross post this on CDF website as well? Uh, sorry, I was multitasking and was not paying attention. <laughs> That's okay. So, so <laughs> we're going to have about two blog posts. Okay. Before mm-hmm. the hackathon, uh, okay. before the hack fest. And uh, we'll have it on Jenkins.io, but I want to make sure that it's okay for us to cross post that on. Um, yeah, yeah. Please submit. Yeah, please submit. Okay. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so I will do that, Oleg. Okay, and that's good. Uh, so, uh, well, I will be still sharing uh, this information in CDF Slack, but uh, yeah, we see if you could uh, help with that, uh, it would be uh, really nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so, after the first day, we will also uh, try to facilitate some developer meetups. So, for example, how to develop front end, maybe how to write Jenkins documentation. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Well, it's really easy, but yeah. Maybe we could just merge it in the opening session, actually. But let's see. Yeah, I, I think you're right, Oleg, that I'm not sure it justifies a full dedicated session. Mm, let's see. Uh, yeah. And yeah, after that, you yeah, will have some closing events and uh, we will try to process this information and once the hackathon is over to um, uh, prepare uh, hackathon results blog post early because for us it, historically it was a problem uh, to have a closing uh, blog post because everybody is so exhausted everybody switches to other tasks so for some events we just didn't have once but uh, this is something we need to fix okay Okay, so yeah, this is the plan. 
and yeah, I will uh, try to share more updates next week. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, so far uh, there is uh, support from the community, so everybody is fine with doing that. Nobody was against. Uh, so, yeah, I think we just roll forward. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions? A lot to do between now and then. We can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can uh, show my Friday schedule to you later, but uh, <laughs> yeah, just, okay. I dedicate almost all time uh, to the hackathon tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, some heavy lifting needs to be done, but yeah, I'm confident I can do that, and reviews will be much appreciated. And uh, new befriend the tickets, yeah, this is the most important thing. Because uh, during October 1st, uh, we lost something like 300 newbie friendly tickets, and uh, we still didn't replenish this number. So, yeah, time uh, to do something about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, first of all, problems I know, but <laughs> yeah, we need more. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so yeah, thanks for, uh, for making the meeting notes. Okay, the next topic was uh, so, Jenkins a prefer video. So could you yep. just talk about that? So um, we have the Jenkins project has been given some money to do by Cloud Bees um, to do an Epiphio video. And I, I put a, a link there um, with the example of the video. The video is about, um, it's a less than three minutes video, but, um, but my, um, I'm, I'm here to ask for guidance on how do we want to approach, uh, with this. Um, you know, so before starting working on this video, we need to answer the such questions as, um, what is the what is the audience base that we want to achieve with this video? What is the messaging that we want to achieve with this? And then, um, you know, what is the uh, what does success would look like for us in terms of the Jenkins project with this video? So I'm looking for guidance in terms of should I um, should I start a document and get people on the SIG to um, add input, or should we build a, a smaller committee, a smaller group to work with this? Because I would love to get um, more than just myself working on this video. Personally, I think that advocacy and outreach would be a good venue because we already have a quite a small team here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we could also uh, outreach uh, to wider Jenkins community once we have something to show. I mean, in terms of documents, so that we could uh, collect more ideas. Okay, so just use yeah. the um, the mailing list for. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, maybe a mailing list plus a, a Google Doc to collect ideas. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, Alyssa, are you looking for? Uh, conceptual things, high level, high level things. You're looking for script proposals, oh. both, any of the above. So the script will be done by the folks at Epiphio. Oh. Okay. Um, so right now we're at the very beginning stage. Um, so before going to them or meeting with them for that first initial meeting, mm -hmm. uh, we need to let them know. Okay, who who are the audience that we want to get to? Uh, what is important to us in terms of messaging? Um, you know, what do we want to get out of this video? So those are some of the questions that we need to answer before I can go to them and, and that's how we start the, um, the process. Okay. So yeah, this is a definitely something we could discuss uh, on our site uh, in advocacy and outreach. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will start an email thread. Thank you for that. Yep. Okay. So anything else about this video? 
Mm, not for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, yeah. Let's just quickly talk about roadmap again. Um, so we made some updates for community marketing uh, feature programs roadmap. So based on the stories we have got recently. So Jenkins is the way program uh, as it was confirmed uh, yesterday, uh, the governance meeting is uh, officially a part of the roadmap now. Uh, same for our new online meetup platform, uh, same for your UX hard test. We kind of agree that we do that. So uh, we just put uh, this, uh, the new stories here. Um, what else we added? Jenkins on Kubernetes online meetups. We just uh, put it as an additional item because it looks to be an ongoing program. I have something like five more online meetups in the pipeline. Oh, and, nice. Uh, yeah. And we already have four scheduled. Well, to happen uh, to happen next week. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, it would be good. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah, I did uh, Jenkins on LinkedIn because uh, yeah, our experience looks to be uh, pretty good there. Uh, just uh, look at these numbers. And I literally spent one hour last month on LinkedIn, but. <laughs> Uh, still, uh, it helps us. We can facilitate more contributions uh, through this channel. We can just have more outreach because, yeah, you get this blog post, uh, for example, uh, Google Summer of Code announcement. So here you can see that uh, basically 170 people uh, clicked and went to our website on this blog post, which is basically just uh, two minutes of work. Same, we also promote Jenkins is the way here, um, for example. How did that is, perform? Uh, let's see. So basically, um, it was uh, more than 2,000 uh, people who viewed uh, that. It was 5% uh, uh, click rate. So 5% mm -hmm. uh, of ones who clicked uh, to get more details. Mm. Uh, well, 135. So, and also nine people shared that. Oh, so okay. I would say that uh, it's still below Twitter account. Uh, but firstly, the audience is different because LinkedIn, for example, has small reach in some regions like India, for example. Mm -hmm. um, it's very popular there. Uh, the same also we post in different time zones. So we yeah. again uh, um, get uh, more follow-ups and uh, well, basically it uh, goes almost for free. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we duplicate the content. Yes, sometimes I extend the content because in Twitter we just have uh, 280 symbols. Here we are not really limited. Well, we are still limited, but yeah, I just copy a section of a blog, etc. So again, it's not a big deal. Okay. And it, it helps. So it's also on the roadmap now. And yeah, I think we, we will be pushing it. And thanks to Continuous Delivery Foundation to reposting some of our blog posts, uh, we will do the same. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but I think it's uh, overall a good experience. Yeah. And uh, later we will need to onboard more content managers there to set up automation. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's see. Okay, so, yeah, thanks, uh, Mark, for hitting uh, Jumbotron. So, uh, as uh, we agreed yesterday, we will be changing Jumbotron. We will be also updating our uh, Twitter log uh, for one month. And uh, this section item uh, is on Alisa. Uh, yeah. Well, basically on Alisa to contact Tyler uh, so that Tyler changes that. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully it will uh, help with promoting the program. Yeah. Okay. Now we, oh, like on that screen, I realized we had talked yesterday about changing the avatar. We did not talk, however, about changing the background, that uh, big, the wide image that's right behind the avatar. Uh, fine with changing everything. What, so yeah, the problem is, is having a contributor who would change that. Got it. Uh, so Tyler will definitely help us, but we need to propose exist, exact content to put there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for now it's fine. It just I, I just realized, oh, hey, there there's more to it even than just the avatar. Right. Yeah, also we can uh, put some text, for example, uh, uh, after the account name. So some people do that, something like stay home or at whatever KubeCon. 
Um, uh, so we can put uh, Jenkins's the way so we right. yeah. Well, uh, yeah, these things could work. Uh, I'm not sure how far we want to go with the official account, but uh, in principle, uh, we can do that. Okay. Anything else about the roadmap? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Another question is uh, basically to seek members. Um, we have a new page for online meetup, which documents our online meetup platform. And one of the sections today is about how to apply uh, to speak at an online meetup or, or how to host an event. And basically it all boils down to please send a message uh, to advocacy and outreach mailing list. And uh, we had an example of uh, one email coming uh, from um, um, uh, third party uh, contributor. So there is, oh, actually, now there is another one uh, from Nikolai. So Nikolai uh, presented about uh, Kubernetes and configuration as code. And yeah, uh, there is now a proposal from uh, about job itself. So my question to SIG members, are we fine with such kind of uh, call for papers uh, format? I am, and I, this particular one by Nikolaj, I'm very interested in personally. So yes, this, I like the format and I like the topic he's proposed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Google Doc should be commentable as documented. So we can easily review it here. You have many things where we can uh, discuss that. So if everybody is fine, let's do that. And uh, I don't expect a uh, huge traffic here. I love the idea that we finally have a forum for people to 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 submit their speaking. Yep. Uh, so yeah. no more Google forms, no more whatever. Just uh, drop it to the community. Yeah, love mm -hmm. it. Okay. Yeah, same for hosting meetups, um, but yeah, it's specific to Jenkins. We already have uh, uh, redirects to continuous delivery foundation on our local meetups. I think we should add something like that here because now there is official webinar uh, program by CDF. Uh, so we should add the link in here. Um, but yeah, for Jenkins events, we can use our online meetup platform. So I think this should also go on the, uh, the continuous information and the CDF newsletter, Oleg. Okay. And so can I can help that. with that. I can help with that. I can I can reach out to the appropriate folks to get that on there. Uh, uh, links to CDF. Yeah. And actually, uh, while we speak about webinars, uh, uh, Jacqueline, if you are still online, I have a question to you. To who, Oleg? Me? Uh, Jack, uh, to Jackie? Jackie? Yep, I'm uh, here. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, we are restarting uh, Jenkins room meetups. So basically meetups in uh, Russian. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. We will be using Jenkins online meetup platform uh, or, uh, in some way to post them. Yep. Uh, but uh, we have a discussion about meetup, which would be rather a bit more generic, not really related to Jenkins. And I wonder what is CDF stance about uh, meetups, which are held in uh, different languages. Uh, would you be open to host them, or should we uh, seek other alternatives? Um, um, you know, I I don't have anything against it. Um, I wouldn't see why the organization would have anything against it either. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll ask just to make sure, mm -hmm. but I think it should be fine, Oleg. Yeah. Yeah. So for English, we definitely want to use uh, the CDF platform. For Russian, uh, we have uh, a couple of other options. Mm -hmm. So we can see how we do that. Okay. And definitely we will cross-reference to these meetups every, anyway. So hopefully within one week, I yep. will follow up on the story. Mm -hmm. If you ask whether it's possible to do meetups in Russian, it would be much appreciated because yeah. we plan uh, to rename uh, some of uh, Russian uh, Jenkins meetups to CICD meetups. Okay. And hence, uh, yeah, with the current situation, we can use CDF platform uh, for them instead of 
or you don't drink so I need a pleasure for that. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't think we should have an issue. Um, mm -hmm. So, but I'll, I'll confirm that I think we should be good. Seven hours. Okay, sorry. Yeah, no worries. I can I can fix it. Uh, yeah, 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 it's too late for me. Okay, uh, so yeah, moving on. So regarding comment strip, uh, uh, Alisa, do you have some uh, updates? Oh, um, for the comic strip, yeah. So mm -hmm. I guess same question. A comic uh, strip. Yeah. So, uh, so we have a Jenkins comic strip. What, Jackie? Yeah. Oh my God, that is so cool. <laughs> so, uh, could we share the image or? Okay. Yeah. 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 We can share. Do you have it? Or I need to find it. Oh, like. Yeah. Uh, or we can uh, wait. Uh, or we can uh, do it off the record later, if you prefer. Oh, it doesn't matter to me. We can share it. it it's, okay. it's, it's, it's available. So in May, Jackie, we came out with our first Jenkins comic strip. And uh -huh. the plan is to release a Jenkins comic strip uh, once a month, every month, until the end of the year. That's awesome. Yeah. So I need a place <laughs> to post it. Uh, uh, yeah, we can make a page on the CDF. Okay. Page, uh, uh, you know, website. Okay. Um, I now I want one for each of the projects, though. Oh, cool! Okay, <laughs> that is really fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what we have on the Jenkins page now, we have artwork. This page is needs some redesign because it's already well, it needs pagination definitely. So we'll uh, somehow rework it later. Uh, but yeah, for example, now we have uh, loggers, we also have uh, 3D model added uh, there by Adrian. Uh, so what we could do, we could just create a section under artwork, uh, for example, artwork comics or mm. something like that uh, and put it there. Okay. And uh, then we can ensure that uh, they're linked uh, from uh, right places so this page yeah. gets enough traffic. Okay. This is uh, one of the ways. Uh, you can even uh, create some navigation. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I like that idea. Yeah, so for example, you can take it to CDF.com. So, here basically it's just separate pages. So, something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, we can do something like that on Jenkins.io easily. Okay. Uh, and... Yeah, hopefully uh, yeah, our CDN <laughs> will handle that. But yeah, let's see. That is so fun. Mm -hmm. I want to include it in the newsletter. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'll send it to you, Jackie. Cool, yeah. Um, that's a really great idea. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so Oleg, so who would be able to help me with, with Jenkins.io? I'm able to help. Okay. Or maybe a Mark. Yeah, Mark, you're muted. <laughs> Yeah, the, the structural piece, Oleg's certainly much better at than I am, but the, the content and trying to do pull requests, those, those kind of things I can certainly help you with, Alyssa. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I think we, we had talked about doing a blog for, for this as well. So then that would be Mark to help me. Yes. <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, I got Sayo. it covered. So Jen, so your artwork uh, comics, right? Right. Yeah. Like that. Okay, uh, I can uh, get the framework uh, done and yeah, yeah, even, so for example, even if you look for Jenkins comics now, mm -hmm. well, I hope that all content is appropriate. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's from Jenkins uh, comics, but still uh, there are some uh, created uh, and yeah, you can find more, but uh, uh, yeah, the, the yeah, there's, the there, hey, there's, there's one with the DevOps world thing that used a, uh, yeah, I was looking at the one uh, okay. Plutora pipeline newsletter. They, they combined a, uh, I don't know if it's legal, but that one, yes. Well, uh, why not? <laughs> uh, so, 
yeah, if you want to to have some content to just uh, keep started, we can uh, definitely Google some. Uh, well, probably this one isn't really about Jenkins, but yeah, whatever. Right. Well, and it's probably a glaring, glaring copyright violation. So yeah. Yeah, let's try to avoid that. I I already had to <laughs> I had to deal with a member already violating. <laughs> so. I don't need. I don't want to deal with another lawyer again. Okay, <laughs> just follow the rules. <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyway, we can just put link or whatever. Uh, but uh, yeah, once we have uh, co first comic strip uh, one already, I'm definitely happy uh, to create a prototype for Jenkins IO. So, oh, like in the past at DevOps World Jenkins World, we've had um, like each year we would have a a mural done by comic strip. Do you want it on that page too? That would be cool. Why not? It's an artwork. Mm -hmm. if, yeah. If, uh, if we've the, got photos of the murals of past murals and if if we're allowed to share those photos, I, I think I have photos of one or more of the murals. That's a good idea. I, so, I believe we okay. have images. Uh, okay. So before having murals, uh, there were also images which we were reviewing at advocacy and outreach meetings. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, we can definitely get them posted. Okay. So, uh, whatever artwork uh, Cloudbees or other vendors would like uh, to host and to donate to the community, we are happy to accept it and publish. Great. That, uh, that's easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I will gather that and send it over. Okay. So, I'm happy to post that. And yeah, we will also rework this page a bit. Uh, because uh, yeah, it's a bit uh, well. It's not obsolete, but uh, for, it still uh, looks pretty bad on mobile yeah. screens. So yeah. if you treat this page, it will look terrible. So now it's time to apply my new legot CSS skills to rework that. Yeah. Okay. So Great. let's see. Okay. So yeah, let's. Okay, uh, yeah, and uh, blog post, uh, Mark to help you with it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I guess we, for Jenkins, is the way we also expect blog posts to be posted eventually, right? Uh, these detailed case studies. Yes, as the stories, as new stories arrive, I assume we'll eventually select some of those stories and blog post mm -hmm. them, or maybe all of them, yeah. But, it, this is a great way to collect more candidates for the blog. Yeah, I agree. Um, so Mark, we have one case study from, is it D4 Science? Um, okay. I, I don't know if you wanna post that as a blog. It's, so last week we posted a blog talking about the, pro, the initiative, the program itself. And mm -hmm. then, so uh, I don't know if this, week you want to post about that user story the take the case study that we got from that so that yeah. maybe like once a week we have something i think that's a great idea let's let's talk about it and okay. yeah let's talk some specific details because right. those would be good if they if they came from the original author as though that were the person submitting i'm happy to ghostwrite or to copy and paste uh, yeah. to, to facilitate that. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, we talked to Manuel and he's more than happy to help us get this on Jengis.io. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Great to hear. So yeah, I guess, uh, May and the, the summer will be quite packed with content mm. because yeah, last year on average we had 10 blog posts uh, per month uh, with JSOC. This year, if you get uh, Jenkins at the way and other programs, okay. Uh, originally, when Tyler introduced uh, the new website, he said that he targets the daily blog posts. So maybe we'll get to this goal. Okay, cool. Yeah, good news that we extended uh, Jenkins IO copy editor scheme a couple of weeks ago. Mm. It will help us. Yeah. Okay, so last story we had in the list is a CDF virtual booth. 
So yes, uh, CDF ambassador, um, I got an um, invitation uh, to actually organize uh, something uh, for the Jenkins project. Um, and yeah, we had a follow-up conversation with Mark and uh, we are ready uh, to amend this booth. Uh, and for us, it would be a good practice because we have other events like KubeCon, like uh, DevOps World, and basically almost every uh, conference in the world is either cancelled or goes virtual. Yeah. So having some experience with uh, staffing virtual booths uh, would be useful. Mm -hmm. And, and also, we, um, Oleg, if you guys have like spec sheets or data sheets or uh, uh, white papers that you guys want to submit to us, um, send that over so that we have that, we can start sharing that, um, like that collateral with the community, because I don't have any for Jenkins. Yeah, we have some materials. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't say that we have that many, but we definitely have some. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, rolling decks and whatever, which we could convert to boost materials. And actually, this is exactly why I put this item to the agenda, to mm -hmm. indicate that uh, if you want to have these materials, the deadline is May 13th. Yeah. I mean, share with us whatever you have. Um, I don't want to add, like, new, um, like, more work to your play. Um, I think, but I think for the future, like you said, it'd be good for us to just have that stuff. So... Um, it could be easily distributed. And then Mark, I totally, I'm going to drop in um, the application for the ambassador program. I think you should definitely apply. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Otherwise we will nominate you. And Oleg, what, uh, is Oleg on, is Oleg an ambassador? Oleg, Oleg is an ambassador. I just, okay. I'm, I'm actually, that's what I'm working on right now is the um, page. Yeah. So I'm looking through my email to see who sent me their bios and their, and their um, photos to update it. I haven't, cool. uh, but uh, I promise to do that. Yeah, just send it whenever, or even if you have like a profile already created somewhere else, send that over and I could just copy and paste it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will do that. And yeah, thanks uh, for inviting because yeah, for us it's really a great opportunity uh, to at least uh, try it out and see how it goes. Yeah, and uh, if you guys also have other other folks from the community that you think would be good ambassadors to represent Jenkins, please refer them. Um, mm -hmm. Because I'd like to, I, I, my goal is to have about 100 ambassadors for the CDF by the end of 2020. And we're at 35. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think we could definitely get there. Um, but we just, you know, I, like, I, like I said, we just need to evangelize the program a little bit more. Right. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Do you have anybody for Jenkins X yet, Jackie? No, and that was the other okay. person I was going to go bug was uh, Kara. Yeah. Um, and then who else? Um, Oscar, maybe. Oscar, mm, Oscar definitely. Oscar, uh, Victor. Victor Pavsik. Yes. Uh, Strachan. I'm not yeah. sure if they'll say yes, but Raleigh. Why don't you send me a list of folks and I'll go bug them. Okay. And Rawling better say yes. I mean... He's <laughs> He's an excellent speaker. <laughs> he better say yes. Isn't he one of the co-creators of yep. Jenkins X? Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, on the Jenkins side, we will also look uh, for more people because yeah, we have a lot of community members. Um, we tried to launch uh, Jenkins Ambassadors uh, program a couple of years ago. So mm -hmm. maybe we could uh, get more people from yeah start, uh, or maybe uh, and who's driving that program oleg it was but, me so is it still going or is no. it no no okay yeah. it's, it was superseded by your program jackie whether you knew it or not oh i'm sorry <laughs> that's not that's not a sorry that was an intentional <laughs> and a delighted <laughs> okay yeah so if you guys that we could do the same thing we did with the jams where we just transition everybody over um mm -hmm. But let's yeah, put a communicate. No, 
I wouldn't worry about the transition. Yeah. You, you keep doing what you're doing. Right. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay got it. We will yeah. just eliminate the uh, right people <laughs> or ask them to self eliminate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, we nominate. have a lot of uh, we nominate and that's a good choice it is really yeah. yeah i mean or have yeah nominate folks or just let them know if, if they want they if they want to participate they have a place yep and um, thank you yeah absolutely okay so yeah it was uh, quite a packed meeting but uh, thanks a lot for your time um, and yeah, I'll try to get a uh, video of this meeting published uh, by the end of the day or maybe early tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, let's follow up on all the action items we have. Thanks all. Great. Thank Bye. you, Ole. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.